Charge and payment processing for Salesforce's recurring billing features give you a huge amount of flexibility to control your subscription or recurring billing directly from a Salesforce record. To set a record to be recurring, simply change the payment status to recurring. You can also set it to complete or stopped if you want to temporarily pause a subscription. Chargent has a large amount of flexibility in the frequency in which a customer is billed as well. You can do everything from daily to biennial, which is every other year, uh, weekly, biweekly, semi-annual, meaning every six months. And we also have a once payment frequency, which will charge a customer one time, but at a future date as part of the daily batch that runs inside of Salesforce. In terms of how long your subscriptions run, there's a flexibility here too. You can run unending, so just charge forever until you manually stop it. Uh, balance due will stop after the balance equals zero. Uh, count will charge a customer a certain number of times, or a date will stop after, at a certain date. Then to start the schedule, you basically set the payment start date, which will determine when this recurring schedule kicks off. Optionally, there's a payment end date if you're choosing the payment stop equals date. We also have a charge date where you can sync transactions to a particular day if they are being done on a monthly basis and a company, customer's credit card is declined and it takes a few days to get a new payment, this will resync the next month to that same date. And any of these fields can be hidden from the Salesforce page layout to simplify things if you're not using them, of course. Finally, our real-time buttons, charge, authorize, and payment console, which send payments immediately, can be utilized independently of the recurring billing. So if you want to add a setup fee or an additional charge to a subscription, it's easy to do that simply by clicking those buttons.